Welcome to our training course on qualitative data management and analysis using MVVO software. My name is Dr. Razak Adisa, an Associate Professor of Mass Communication, Department of Mass Communication, University of Lorraine, Nigeria. Lesson 1 is a qualitative method philosophical paradigm. The lesson objective, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to have a solid understanding of the philosophical foundation of qualitative research. You will be able to differentiate between key paradigms and you will also be able to know how stereotyping affect correct judgment and interpretation in qualitative. To start with, when we say qualitative, qualitative is definitely different from quantitative. And it is different because quantitative has to do with number, counting, while qualitative has to do with expression, words, and description. So that explains the fact that it is not in all situations that uh, quantitative can fit whatever we want to do. And also, it is not in all situations that qualitative can fit. The most important thing is for us to know when to use which particular method, because it is not everything that, can, that counts can be counted. We all know that. And it is not everything that can be counted counts. So meaning that our population, yes, we can count them, we know their number, but countering them, knowing their number, may not be the right thing we need. It may be their expressions, their feelings, their, their perceptions, and their explanation. So when it is that, then we are dealing with a qualitative. Then again, yesterday, we, we tried to establish we, for ourselves the perception, the philosophical foundation of qualitative research, which has to do with uh, getting to know the issue, getting to know the view, the perception of the people we are examining, that it is not enough to just conclude based on existing theory or to just conclude based on the literature. Because qualitative is not stereotyping. Qualitative cannot conclude based on what we already know or based on what theory tells us. When it depends on theory, that is stereotyping. And that is basically what quantitative is all about. So we said looking at the people standing, for us to understand uh, our, uh, practically what qualitative expect of us, that it doesn't expect us to just look at something and conclude. And I asked yesterday that among all the three people standing, including the person in, in, in the in the black t-shirt or black uh, polo set, we all agree that uh, somebody said, no, if we were to look at it from what we are seeing, the man on suits and uh, tie will be, will be referred to as the most successful. But in reality, he's not the one. The man to our left, the owner of Facebook, who usually go around in this manner of simple dressing, of course, is the most successful by all standards, meaning that uh, we cannot always judge a book by its cover. Sometimes we need to open into it, we need to read into it before we can conclude. So that's what qualitative is all about. Getting deep into know the reality, getting into knowing the feeling and the perception of the people you want to examine, that is your sample. That's the best way you can get appropriate data for your analysis. I equally said, the man in a black polo shirt is also very rich. And if you have to compare his dressing to the man uh, on suits, we we'll definitely say, oh, this is just a street seller or something. No, but it's not. He's a very rich person who worth $22 billion as at 2022. I equally asked about the man seated, that what will you say is the man's religion? Yes, 
majority of the participants yesterday said uh, we're going to say he's a Muslim by way of his dressing, by his look and everything. We have to get to know him before we can conclude. Appearance sometimes can be a deception and may not actually get us what we actually need. Look at the man in Polo, He's the founder and creator of By Jews application. And the man is set to worth $22 billion as of 2022. Then the man city that I asked about his religion, that we all thought is a Muslim. The man is actually a pastor who owns a very big church in Lagos. So meaning that we don't stereotype, we don't look at things and conclude. We have to get to the root of it. That's what qualitative expect. And that is the philosophy behind qualitative research. Don't conclude at the surface. Get to ask questions. Then depends on whatever answer they give. Don't conclude based on what theory says that whenever a man dresses like this, is a is likely to be a successful person. That is stereotyping, and that is a deductive. But qualitative is a inductive. We equally look at um, an elephant as an example, and asking different people what they feel when they touch an elephant. Maybe by way of where they are close to or the feeling they have. Each of them will give different expression. So therefore, we cannot depend on individual expression. We cannot depend on what uh, literature or theory tells us. That when you feel something that seems to be long, like a rope, it's likely to be a snake or to be a rope. So when you feel something like the leg of elephant, we can say it's a tree, but it is not. So what we are saying here is simply that by philosophical uh, foundation of qualitative, you have to aggregate all the feelings of your respondent before you can conclude and say this is the reality. So that is what qualitative is all about. Now again, we want to look at... Uh, what are the philosophy, aside what we have said, that guides qualitative? Number one, qualitative believe that uh, meaning is socially constructed. That means that uh, every findings you want to make, every data you want to gather, should be based on the lived experience of the people you want to examine. Should be based on the feeling, the perception of the people not what you thought or not what the literature says as we normally depend on in quantitative. We can always look at things from different perspectives. We should endeavor to find out from the people we have selected as our sample and we have selected them because they fit into the data we want to collect. So we should not depend on existing work, existing theory. We should go straight to them and get our own findings. Qualitative also believe that the world is not a consensus, meaning that uh, in every situation, there will always be different views, different perception, and different feeling. So these different feeling are the raw data we need that can give us the true findings based on the people that are affected. And the world is not a measurable phenomenon. We cannot conclude and say, oh, because the population of China is a uh, one point something billion. Definitely, uh, because of the status of the society, maybe 80% of the people are rich. No, we cannot conclude because we cannot measure richness. We cannot measure sadness. We cannot measure love. It is how the person who is experiencing it, express it. So that's what qualitative is all about as well. And qualitative is inductive, while quantitative is a deductive. Deductive is when you depend on the system work to start your research. You are able to get your instrument through a system work. You are able to get your concepts through the existing work literature or theory. 
But in qualitative, it has to be inductive, meaning that we must generate theory from findings. So why quantitative starts with a theory and ends up by confirming a theory based on the hypothesis developed? Qualitative, which is inductive, starts from virtually nothing then depend on the data you have collected from the people. Through the data, you come up with the findings and through findings, you develop a theory. So why quantitative start with a theory but confirm the theory? Qualitative start with nothing. They end up to develop a theory. That is what qualitative is all about.